Today we're going to be looking at the tools a scientist uses when measuring organisms. The first rule we're going to look at is the one that's used in measuring length. Measuring length. Typical tool is a ruler. Measure in terms of centimeters, not inches. Now, I'm going to start off with length with this, but I'm going to need a lovely assistant to do that. My helper today is going to be the one and only... Babrita the turtle. Say hi, Babrita. Now, when measuring length, we'll set it right down there for her. If I wanted to measure how long Babrita is, what I need to do is take my ruler, start from the zero end, and go for it. Now, I want the side with the centimeters, the side with lots of little numbers on it. Each one is a centimeter. I would then start from head to tail. measure and find the length of the Brita. In this case, she's close to about 20 centimeters. Measuring weight and mass. Mass is how much stuff is in something. Typical tool is a scale, measured in terms of grams. Now, if I wanted to start measuring mass, Babrita's the big girl, so I'd have to use it for it. I can use a triple balance beam scale to help me out. Triple balance beam scale, you put the object you want to measure here, and then adjust the weights until this piece right here lines up with the zero mark. Currently, it's fairly close. If you can examine right there, it'll bounce back a little bit. And voila. I will now place Babrita. Oh, so now that it's gone down, I know that he obviously weighs less, weighs less than this mark, 300 grams, especially when they run off. So we're going to put him back. I move this back. I will then move the next one over. Goes down too much. Move it back. Then I adjust the fine-tune one. Oh, too much. I know. Did you lose weight? You get the idea. Eventually it should balance out to the zero, in which case that's the correct weight. The issue becomes that these tools can only measure things that are larger. What you're seeing now are microorganisms so small that the human eye can't see them. In order for us to observe their interactions and how they work with each other, we need to use a microscope to be able to observe them. Microscope, a tool that uses to examine objects too small for the naked eye. So here's our microscope. We'll use this to look at microorganisms, which you guys will be using on, on Monday. Some of the basic things that I've already explained are the things like the arm, the eyepiece, and the base. Um, this is basically the structural part of the microscope. Keep in mind though, in order to hold the correct posture of a microscope is you usually grab it from the arm and put your hand under the base. This makes sure that even if you were to trip or something, you always have a firm grip on the microscope. The last thing you need to do is hold it one-handed because not only will it swing, it could slip out or shatter, and balancing the microscope, it's fairly heavy for its size, can be incredibly difficult. Let's see the more detailed parts when observing organisms. So what I want to typically do is when I want to observe something, take it and place it on the tray. There are little clips here that I can use to hold what might be considered uh, a slide or something like that in place. And you'll see that Monday. Uh, I then turn on the light, not on, not plugged in, but light would then shine through. I would then examine through the eyepiece on low power first. Then look through and adjust with the largest knob, which is the coarse focus knob, until I can see the object come into view. If it's any lower, it's going to end up causing problems. Then, once I have it in view, I'll adjust the fine focus 
to try and be able to see my organism. Once I have that, I will then increase the power and repeat and repeat. Remember, the larger the lens, the stronger the magnification, which means the more close you're going to see certain objects. Always start with coarse focus and with fine focus. What I want you to do is for Monday to bring in something you'd like to look under the microscope with. It could be a piece of paper, it could be your pencil, it could be something at home that you wanted to look, it could even be something like a mold or a piece of food. We're going to examine it under and see what it looks like. Have a good weekend.